It's the end of fall quarter 2010, and we're doing some extra credit work with analyzers. Recently, I had a few companies donate uh, some analytical equipment to the program, and so now we're just checking it out, powering it up, and seeing how they work. Uh, here we got ourselves a uh, Rosemount Stack O2 analyzer. This is meant for measuring oxygen concentration in the stack gas of a furnace. The probe is right here, and this is called an in situ probe. It's Latin, it means in place. So we're actually doing the sensing right in the stack of the furnace, as opposed to having the analyzer remotely mounted and bringing a sample down through a tube. So this is a heated enclosure, it uses a zirconium element, and it's generating a voltage uh, according to the Nernst equation across the zirconium element according to the difference in oxygen concentration between one side and the other. One side being the stack gas and the other side being atmospheric ap uh, oxygen. So 21% uh, atmosphere oxygen versus what's inside the stack. So the lower the concentration in the stack, the more voltage you get across the membrane. And that voltage is picked up by this, turned into a 4 to 20 milliamp signal, and sent off to a control system. Over here, we got a couple of stack gas analyzers. This one here is a Rosemount uh, 951C NOx analyzer. Uses the chemiluminescent technology that generates ozone with instrument air and lets the ozone reacts with the nitrous, uh, nitrogen oxide, nitric oxide, NO, to produce a small amount of light. That light is detected by a photomultiplier tube and then that is uh, used to indicate the uh, concentration of NOx gas. Over here we've got a Siemens Ultramat 5E analyzer. This is measuring carbon monoxide, or it's supposed to. We seem to have a, an issue here right now. And I uh, certainly hope we don't have 148 ppm of carbon monoxide in the air. And this uses NDIR technology, non-dispersive infrared. So it's shooting infrared light down a couple of tubes, one with a reference gas, one with a sample gas. And it's looking at the difference in the infrared light coming out the other end, how much has been absorbed by the sample gas, because CO is an absorber of infrared light. Over here, we have a Thermal Electron Corporation NOx analyzer. It also uses the chemiluminescent technology like the Rosemount 951C. So it's generating ozone with uh, instrument air, letting the ozone react with the nitric oxide gas, and that produces a small amount of light, which is measured by a photomultiplier tube. It can also measure NO2 and NO3 by converting those gases into nitric oxide, NO, uh, through a chemical uh, conversion process, because NO2 and NO3 do not naturally chemiluminesce with ozone like nitric oxide gas does. So you have to convert the NO2 and NO3 into NO so it can be measured. Anyway, lots of fun here with some uh, stacked gas analyzers.